What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a couple of really quick duels for you guys to check out. Our first duel is going to feature a Goki deck that uh, has no Goki monsters in its opening hand. It's going to be facing off against Light Sworn Nemesis Metaphys. Now, um, I, I guess I kind of get the concept behind this deck. Uh, the Light Sworns, I guess they can mill like Chaos Monsters to the field. Light Sworn don't really banish that much, but um, Metaphys and Nemesis seem like a perfect combination because Metaphys banish a ton. So I'm not sure that this deck completely works, but uh, we'll give it a go. Anyways, let's go ahead and roll this. And I believe that the Goki deck is up first. Luckily, he is able to get the two warrior monsters, which gets you to Isode. And then you're, you know, it doesn't really matter if you open with Goki monsters or not, because at the very least, you can get yourself a search from Octo Stretch. Now, he's not going to be able to go for a full Goki combo or anything like that, because if you search rematch, what would it really do? He didn't have two Goki monsters, but it's not like the worst opening in the world especially because he has ghost ogre and snow rabbit he's actually going to use that on the ragnarok immediately i'm not sure if i would have did that but uh, you know i guess it's okay because um i mean ragnarok really needs to do battle damage to get its effect off and he had link karibo so i'm not sure i would have saw that coming but i guess if he would have attacked with the uh, nemesis corridor and then ragnarok he could have maybe got the effect off so maybe it actually did work out anyways looks like isold lived and that's something that you never want to see if you're facing against an isold because your opponent can use it again he's gonna go neo space connector and get aqua dolphin i believe he will trigger aqua dolphin's effect because why not you got phoenix sword if nothing else you can just pitch that Gonna go for the Nightmare Cerberus and then Topologic Trisbina. You don't usually see this card. I don't think I've ever seen this card. Excuse me, not Trisbina. I'm trolling. This is Zero Boros. I don't think I've ever seen this card actually summoned in the uh the goki deck i didn't even know that they ran this card to be honest but uh okay it's fine let's see if his opponent will be able to respond and uh unfortunately he's going to probably get wrecked he's gonna throw out that impermanence on a ride in come on bro that's <laughs> you can't be impermanencing a ride and you gotta wait for something more powerful because you should have used impermanence on this guy right here your eschatos this is a, a card that can actually wreck this guy's board because he happens to have guess what two cybers monsters on the field this means he can clear them both out at the same time if only he would have saved that impermanence he would have been perfectly fine now he's not gonna lose luckily and he does have rematch to get him you know some stuff back from his graveyard so with rematch he at least has a chance of getting back into this game and goki just with rematch as long as they've got cards in their graveyard they can probably climb all the way up into a link four and maybe even do some uh really strong damage because he's gonna go for that goki giant ogre this is probably the best goki card this is the one that can't be destroyed by battle and then also is unaffected by effects of uh, your opponent's monsters that are lower attacked in it. It can also gain attack when it's um, uh, when it when its attack is different than its original attack and it can even stop um, targeting abilities as well. But it ain't even going to matter because 5600 attack mm -mm, that's going to run right over that co that corridor like a knife through hot butter. So that is pretty much a wrap. Second duel is going to feature Orcus and you're actually going to see some synchro summoning out of Orcus, which uh, you don't traditionally see. He opens pretty good, and uh, he's going to actually send Mecha Phantom Beast to line. His opponent is going to use... <laughs> he's going to be summoning a lot of hand traps from his hand. I don't know if this counts as a hand trap, but um, it's a, a card that activates in hand. This is your prime, prime mineral uh, congrate. <laughs> I like its name more in the OCG, but he's going to set that face down. Um, unfortunately, his opponent will be able to stop that, even though he's going to get the plus one off of Fantastical Dragon Phantasmay. He can just pop it with something like Scrap Wyvern. So Scrap Wyvern, like I, usually you don't see its effect actually come into play turn zero because the opponent doesn't have any monsters but in this turn in that a like he actually did i found it interesting that even with two monsters on field he opted to take evenly match i thought he'd shuffle that back into his deck but uh we'll see if it works out now his opponent's going for Appaloosa. He was not locked into the dark attribute at that point, but he is now going to go for Borlode Savage Dragon. I told you guys, there will be some synchro summoning. And then, of course, you got to go back into Galtea. Look, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. I'm not a, a super big fan of going for Orchestrated Babble. Um, I understand, or Orcus Babble, the, the field spell. I understand, like, it lets you use Dengirisu during your opponent's turn, but I'd rather just have, like, I'd rather have Crescendo, man. I'd rather have something that just stops anything my opponent can throw at me. If you can break the board, you know, uh, 
uh, with spells, traps, and monsters. Because what if he had Dark Ruler no more and you went for Babel? He could just use Dark Ruler and then evenly match and probably just take your entire board out. Or I guess you'd be able to keep one card, but I'd rather have the counter trap, honestly. He's going to attack, and then he tries to go evenly match, but uh, yeah, Crescendo's going to say no to that. Even if he didn't Crescendo, like, <laughs> what's stopping him from using Savage Dragon to stop that? Anyways, he's going to activate the copy of Predator Planning. That's not going to resolve. Then he's going to use Called by the Grave to banish the Predator Plants, and this duel's pretty much over. All he has to do is go for Dengirisu, and that gets rid of the Gradle Eagle, and uh, yeah, I smell an, o an OTK. I don't even think he had to go. For this uh, Boil Sword play, but um, he did go for it. I mean, regardless, he was going to win anyways. But yeah, I think he could have just attacked without even going into Boil Sword with the monsters that he had, like Dengirisu and whatnot. And then he would have been able to do lethal damage. But, you know, I've never really seen Orcus that uh, Synchro summons. And this guy, you know, by by hook or by crook, he found himself a way to get synchros into the orchestra strategy. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the short duel. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.